Hello Paris, hello France, hello to the planet Earth, hello to the universe, hello to all God's creatures, and a big special hello to the planet Mars. I'm James Elroy, the death dog with the hog log, the foul owl with the death growl. For more than three decades, novelist James Elroy has been trawling the mean streets of LA's historical underworld. The unsolved murder of his mother, Jean Hilliger, in 1958, would go on to underscore his work. After spending his 20s dabbling in drugs and petty crime, he went on to become a best-selling author, penning 14 novels, including the LA Quartet and the Underworld USA Trilogy. Now at 66, the novelist has released the first book of the second LA Quartet, Perfidia. I caught up with him in Paris at a retro-inspired hotel that looks as though it could be a page out of one of his books. You've described your latest book, Perfidia, as a 23-day binge. Yeah. What's the backstory? Well, it's December 1941. December 7th, 1941. The Japs had just bombed Pearl Harbor. Bam, we're afraid in LA. Ooh, we're under imminent threat of Jap sea and air attack. It could happen any minute. Then a Jap family named Watanabe is slaughtered in their crib in Highland Park. LAPD seizes on the case as a political hot potato. Packed with sex. Yeah! Savagery. Yeah! Racism. Yeah! Blood. Yeah! And war. Yeah! And a whole bunch of other gritty, gory, mm -hmm. I guess, Right. by your estimation, wonderful things. How high are the stakes in Perfidia? Stakes are very high. It was a party. You know why? It was, it's a party at the edge of the abyss and the precipice of America's ascendance. We're about to go to war. We could die at any second. Now, Perfidia means the trail in Spanish and was a 1938 big band hit. Why is it the perfect umbrella for this novel? And now my heart cries out perfidia, for I found you the love of my life in somebody else's arms. Listen, this is a great song. It's the ultimate World War II, he done me, she done me wrong song. It's about betrayal and love. And Perfidia, my magnificent new novel, is about geopolitical betrayal, personal betrayal of all stripes, ideological betrayals, and most of all, betrayal in love. It was the most notorious murder in California history. To the public, it was a sensation. This killer will be caught. You've revisited some of your most well-known characters in this novel, like Kay Lake, who you've actually professed to having fallen in love with during the writing process. It's an onanistic love because she doesn't exist outside my brain. My main love is this woman over here, off camera, Helen Cano, the Panther Woman. And she has created something called the Hex of the Panther Woman, so that women who go for me drop dead as soon as they make a move. But that's real life, and we're not dealing with real life here. Helen, we're dealing, would you like to come in on that? <laughs> we're dealing with L.A. in 1941, and Kay Lake. She is the heroine of my much earlier written but latter set book, The Black Dahlia. There are no earthly yardsticks by which to measure the human greatness and uniqueness of Kay Lake. She's a hell of a young woman. When it comes to revisiting the story of these characters, was it a case of unfinished business? Well, the grand design of the second LA Quartet, and Perfidia is the first volume of that work, is to take real life and fictional characters from my first two bodies of work, the first LA Quartet and the Underworld USA Trilogy, and place them in LA during World War II as much younger people. Thus, I have a unified, seamless fictional history of LA, my city, and America, my country, between 41 and 72. You've built a body of work around coloring LA's history. Now, what is it about the past that has had your imagination walking backwards for the last three decades? And if I were born here in Paris, I'd write the, the first Paris Quartet, the second Paris Quartet, 
and the France underworld USA trilogy. But I'm from LA. Geography is destiny. My mom and dad hatched me in a cool locale. I was born in LA, the film noir epicenter at the height of the film noir era. Geography is destiny. I just got lucky. That's why it's LA. You're not a fan of the modern world? No, I don't dig it. You don't have a phone? No, oh, I, have a, I have a landline phone. I don't have a cell phone. No TV? No TV. Internet? No internet. Why? No, it distracts me. It takes me away from the books that I am here to write for everyone in France and all the other countries where I'm published. Don't divert me from my sacred cause. Now, can any woman, or reality for that matter, live up to the worlds that you create in your head? Reality exists. It's here. I'm not psychopathic. I'm not psychotic. I don't take medication. I'm going to walk outside of here, and it's not going to be LA-41. It's going to be the Rue Dauphine in, on the left bank in Paris in 2015. And I'm nothing but happy for that. No, I'm grateful to be alive today. In Perfidia, Kay Lake says women write diaries in the hope that their words will beckon fate. Right. Why do you write? Well, there's a long Don Thomas poem that answers the question, why do I write? To express the horror, the beauty, the passion that I see in the world. Do you, are there any lines from that poem that you recall that you'd in like to share? In my art of sullen craft, exercised in the still of night, when only the moon rages and the lovers lie abed with all their griefs in their arms, I labor by singing light, not for the strut and trade of charms upon the ivory stages, but for the common wages of their most secret heart. Not for the proud man apart do I write on these spindrift pages, but for the lovers, their arms round the griefs of the ages, who pay no praise or wages, nor heed my art or craft. Don Thomas. That's why I write. Take us through the writing process. You're against technology, so is it the old-fashioned way, pen and paper? I write by hand. The outline for Perfidia is 700 action-packed pages. I have a absolutely locked in, imperviously strong diagram for creating the whole book. It's there on the desk with me when I write by hand. From beginning to end, it's From all, to it's end, all yes. by a hand. Yes. And uh, is it, do you wake up in the morning straight to you know, pick up a pen straight away, sit down, write, Two kind of lock of yourself in? Two cups of coffee and I'm on it like a rabid tiger. How many hours can you sit down during a day? Period of hours, then I get a snooze, then I have some oatmeal, then I go back to work. Four of your novels have been made into films, the most successful of which was L.A. Confidential, right. which was nominated for nine Oscars. Any TV or film projects in the pipeline? There's always rumors. There's always paychecks. That's usually as far as it goes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I can say about this. In the meantime, I am being handsomely compensated for writing TV pilots and feature films. I have nothing more substantive to report to you. Off the back of Perfidia, mm -hmm. what, where to next for you? Second volume of the second LA Quartet. And is there anything you could reveal about that? Yeah, it goes through the end of, of 1942. That's all I know. That's all I'm telling you. I know a lot more about it. A word of warning or a disclaimer to uh, James Elroy fans before they head out to read Perfidia? Buy the book and buy it now. And if you haven't read any of my books, start with this book. It's the chronological beginning of my life's work as a historical novelist. It's also the big, fat, juicy hardcover that I need to sell right now. So start here and do it now. Neglect your children, neglect your sexual partners, neglect your families and go out and buy this book. Even if you've only got $25 to your name, don't make your rent payment. Buy this book. Do it now. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Thank you for speaking right. to us. Oh.